I'm Jessica Chobot. All these moments will be lost in time like tears in the rain. And this is Nerdist News. It's been hard to accept that Blade Runner 2 is really happening, even though it's picked up a director, DP, a pair of leads, and a screenplay over the past year. I mean, it just seemed too crazy. But as of this morning, Blade Runner 2 has a release date, January 12th, 2018. And with filming set to begin this July, there's just no more denying it. Rick Deckert is coming back to the big screen to make you feel sad about androids and stuff. <laughs> So what do we know so far about Blade Runner 2? Well, Ridley Scott, who just directed a great science fiction flick, The Martian, after some might say, mm, botching, a return to another old franchise of his with Prometheus, will only be producing this time around. He'll be replaced in the director's chair by Denny Villeneuve, who just directed three awesome flicks in a row, Prisoners, Enemy, and Sicario. He considers himself a Blade Runner superfan, so it feels like we're in pretty good hands, especially since he's bringing his Prisoners and Sicario DP Roger Deakins along for the ride. You guys know Roger Deakins, yeah, pretty much the best living cinematographer, the guy who made Skyfall the best looking movie in a franchise that's all about making good looking movies, and if there's one thing you gotta get right with a Blade Runner movie, it's the look. As for the screenplay, one of the two original Blade Runner screenwriters, Hampton Fancher, will be joined by Michael Green, who, oh, I'm just gonna admit it, he wrote the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern movie. But don't worry, the story comes from Fancher and Ridley Scott himself, who will be heavily overseeing the script. And according to Harrison Ford, it's the best thing he's ever read. Ford, of course, will be returning to the role of titular Blade Runner Rick Deckert, who Scott has confirmed time and time again is a replicant with a relatively small role in the film. And with Ryan Gosling playing the actual lead, we're left wondering, could the plot center on Gosling, a fresh young Blade Runner, hunting down Rick Deckard? Will Deckard not appear until the end, sort of like Luke Skywalker in that other late-in-the-game Harrison Ford sci-fi squeak? Well, we'll probably have to wait until 2018 to find out, but what we do know is that the story takes place several decades after the original. In the meantime, we have a single scene Ridley Scott described to keep us sated. He says the film will utilize a discarded opening from the original Blade Runner in which we see a Dust Bowl-esque farm where trees are being kept alive by wires and a massive combine harvester is fertilizing crops. A spinner flies into frame, a blade runner climbs out and meets the farmer who's been piloting this machine, and that's it. That's all Ridley would tell us. Pretty vague stuff, Rid, but I bet it'll be real pretty. But what do you guys think? Are you cool with the Blade Runner sequel? Are you okay with the fact that Deckard is confirmed to be a replicant even though he aged? And don't replicants have a shelf life? Are you team Institute or team Railroad? Oh my god, Fallout 4. <laughs> I love that game. Let's discuss. Nerdist Science Editor Kyle Hill, everybody. Woo! It's Woo! That hair, according to science. Can we have replicants? Uh, it, it's gonna be a while, it's gonna be a couple hundred years. I'm, well, maybe not a hundred years, but it's gonna be a long time because we first have to not only replicate the most complicated machine that we know of that is the human body, but then we'd have to figure out what consciousness is and make something to replicate that for a replicant. And that's, that's gonna be one of those big fundamental problems that we're gonna have to overcome first. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a long time. How do you actually test for consciousness if you can't test on humans? So we have to have some sort of like, human experiment going on that we don't tell anybody. There's like two schools of thought on it. <laughs> One is you go from like bottom up and you try to- God, if I had a dime for every time. We I'm sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> Maybe we can go bottom up. We can try to piece circuits together and see if, you know, we can, we can look at a brain and then try to recreate it. Or we can just throw a shitload of circuits together and hopefully if we have enough of them, Consciousness will just emerge. Like out it of figure it. itself out. Yeah. So what's on because science today? Um, I'm explaining why Iceman from X Men would actually be kind of like a fireball all the time. What? How? What? What? Whoa! Find out on Nerdist.com. Wow, 